A couple of themes are beginning to, to come out uh, mm -hmm. from, from that. Uh, so first of all, it, I think the amounts are probably larger than what we originally thought they were a few weeks back. Uh, and uh, uh, it also seems that uh, his uh, modus operandi was uh, very much like a, a Ponzi scheme, kind of promising uh, quick returns for some people, get uh, entice some with uh, entice newcomers with a return which he would probably give them uh, within a couple of weeks, you know, four, six, eight weeks. And then that would uh, then entice him to give him more money, a larger amount of money. And uh, although he was saying he was actually investing their money for them, uh, what was really happening, it seems, uh, based on what we know today, that uh, they really, or he was really just uh, circulating back the money to his current investors. And at some point in each of the cases when the money, sorry, when the amount was large enough, he simply disappeared. What do you think are the loopholes in the system that need to be plugged or addressed? I'm not sure it's uh, loopholes per se. I think what it points out is that we need to be a little bit more, um, or investors need to be a little bit more conscious about their own uh, investing profile. They need to cross-check a little bit more uh, when promised uh, certain stories by individuals or firms. And I think they also need to uh, think that if a transaction is too good to be true, it might really be, and therefore you're, it's a red flag. Will the PSC press charges against Benyaflor? Is that a possibility? It's a possibility, um, but I think we'll need to figure out how that really works from a legal perspective because he was, uh, after all, as we, we said, he was, uh, or it appears that he was uh, operating uh, outside the, uh, the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So we had the cash was with him and uh, standard Ponzi scheme without really dealing with any of the, let's call it, uh, uh, players in the financial services sector. Mm -hmm. Do you think the alleged scam might have been prevented if the Securities Regulation Code, particularly on beneficial ownership, was in place? No, I think uh, the, that uh, specific uh, situation, there are already enough rules, laws, and regulation under, uh, and, and even the scam would fall, as you're prosecuting, it would fall under laws that are currently in, in place. The reason, of course, that uh, uh, you know, Peña Flor did not use the, the system to be, means that you can't use the system to even prevent or catch, or at least prevent this type of thing from, from happening. So by definition, uh, as I said, it, was, it was basically a, appears like a Ponzi scheme, cash Ponzi scheme. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would have uh, perhaps found out if he was actually buying securities uh, already. You don't, need, you don't need additional rules, you don't need uh, uh, new powers, uh, we think there, there's enough of that uh, today.